It's kind of not really doing much, is it? Well, no, but I think that you've got to remember, Steve, two, two and a half years ago, it was at 135. <laughs> right, but that and was... And so we, we, that's, we then... Not, that's irrelevant compared with where QE... No, no, I know, but I think that was part of that was on the basis that the, the ECB was getting more aggressive. Right. And so we think there's a there's I, kind I thought of it was like a range that Europe went into a debt crisis. Which we, we think all it's kind of, of in a range between 105 and 115. At 115, Mario Draghi starts to become more vociferous. At 105, you even hear the Federal Reserve beginning to talk about it. Some people argue that you've got to keep an eye on the euro against the, the yen and the, the renminbi because that's part of the main exporting competitive countries that and so the dollar is 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 arguably you know whilst a benchmark is not necessarily that um, that 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 convincing we think the fundamental value of the euro is between 110 and 115 on a ppp basis so at 105 it's not that cheap i think to get to parity or lower you have to be a huge dollar bull it's not that you see the euro get weaker, you believe that the US has made it, the interest rates are going to come through, the Fed dots are right, in which case you could easily see another 20% in the dollar. But that would crush S&P earnings. So I think one has to be careful what one wishes for. But Steve, what was your point? That he should be doing more to weaken the euro? Or that no, there's no, no additional kicker? No, no, no. I, I'm just saying that every person who comes round this desk who isn't affiliated to the ECB says that the only point of QE is to get the euro right down again. And yet you can't hear a policymaker say that because you're not allowed. Because it's not in the rules, because it's not in the G7, G8, G20, G million rules. You can't do it. But the fact of the matter is, whether it's Arbe with his um, arrows, of which a couple are a little bit limp at the moment, let's be honest about it, or whether it's uh, policies in the US or policies in Europe, the point is about getting your currency down. It's about competitive devaluation. Because what else is the point at the moment? Really, but well, this also happens. Bond yields down. Th this happens with a lag. We've keeping had bond yields down. Yeah. Bond We're yields haven't gone down since QE. Q bond yields have not gone down since QE. They went down before QE. They have not gone down since QE. Would they go higher into if bank they rates? QE. We can go Would toe they go toe into bank if rates. They, if QE. they haven't gone down either. Would they go higher if they weren't QE? <laughs> oh, I don't know. If Draghi had come I out last week and gone, actually, Do you know we're going to taper. What would have happened? Feeling there's a quite a lot of money in the system. <laughs> I've got a sneaky feeling that, do you know what, there'll be a big bid for Bunds regardless of QE because it's a safe trade, isn't it? I mean, yeah, we don't care about Germany. What about the periphery? We don't care about Germany. We're back to that point where we don't care about China higher, at the top of the show the now, are we? <laughs> Would the periphery yields be higher if we didn't have the QE? I, I think at the margin they might be slightly higher. But, but I, I think the, the dynamic, to, to Steve's point, I think the dynamic is that the ECB simply want the euro to stay where it is. <laughs> They've had the repricing. They now want yeah. to keep it there. And, and, and let the efficiency and the competitiveness and just, just explain of 105. to me about these low yields. Just one more point. No, just let me, these low yields, yeah, they, they've galvanised these economies, the Italians, the Spanish, they've galvanised them into a revolutionary set of economic policies, have they? Or, or, as I think you've pointed out as well, the likes of Renzi, the likes of Rajoy, the likes of others in Southern Europe are suddenly saying, well, actually, we've done quite enough. We're not going to get elected if we carry on like this. We're going to pull back a little bit from some of our more stringent policies. Your words, Julia. Absolutely. Absolutely. Last so, year. so have the low year. yields created a complacency, a big fluffy great big duvet, or an Eiderdown if you're at Windsor Castle, because there's a big contention there, mm. uh, which means that they haven't acted as fast and as hard as they should? But they haven't in the US, we haven't <laughs> in the UK, yeah. they haven't in Japan. The fundamental restructuring that was bought time by QE hasn't happened, Steve. Yeah. Globally, it hasn't happened.